there's something about adjusting my attitude of when I went into the, to these auditions. Instead of trying to get the job, it was more about making sure I, I, I was the best I was that day. So um, in this uh, sort of period of uncertainty as we're in this pandemic, uh, it feels like that there's gonna be some really long-term effects on, on Hollywood. Uh, as an actor and who has many more years left in this business, um, how are you, I guess, preparing for what this next phase of Hollywood may look like, um, considering we don't know how long uh, that we're gonna be in this pandemic? Like, how are you handling kind of the uncertainty that is somewhat around what you do? Well, you know, it was encouraging to, to, to make that film during COVID. Uh, I feel secure if the right people uh, are given the opportunities to take this industry to the next step. People like, like Katia Washington, our producer, who provided mm -hmm. those rules for us to work. I think, you know, Hollywood, I think, the, I think people in this industry, you know, movie makers, filmmakers, uh, producers, I think they're, they're going to they're gonna find a way because we all need storytelling. You know, we enjoy storytelling. It's something that uh, can, can stand the test of time, that can survive this. Um, the adjustments will have to be made, obviously. Um, but uh, overall, overall there's, a, there's a world that exists uh, that we could still make films. Um, I, I truly believe that. So in that regard, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I will always find some way to be creative. And I was, I was, I was you know, whether, I don't know how, but uh, there, there, there is a way to do it, you know? And uh, I, I say that confidently because I, I, I shot that film during that time, during this time, and, uh, and it, it, went, it went beautifully. So I, I do feel that there's a way. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, young actors, aspiring actors that look at your career arc and they obviously, you know, want to emulate your success. But as you were figuring out how you wanted to approach this business, um, what, what did you feel like was really a really meaningful lesson or really meaningful advice that you were given that kind of helped you power through those moments? As you mentioned, you said you've been rejected a lot before. Like, how were you able um, to persevere through those moments? what was meaningful in terms of the advice you were given and getting you through the, those times where you didn't know if you were going to be a, mm -hmm. a super success with this or not? Well, managing my expectations, you know, defining what success really means, you know, everybody's different. For me, 2015, living in New York City, there was a day where I had, what, two auditions and two rehearsals. Um, so I basically, I played like, actually like five different characters in one day. And to me, that's what it was all about. That was one of the most meaningful days ever, you know, because that was me hustling, you know, and really being just, just submerged into the craft. Like, that's what it's all about. Can I play these different characters? Can I, the research and the work, the preparation that it takes, I got told of what I do. Um, some great advice. I've got, I mean, I've had some great, I've had some great uh, counsel in my time. I mean, between Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who, uh, you know, who, who's just, he's been very encouraging, super positive throughout shooting, you know, and he, and he, and he told me, you know, you know some things I don't want to share on air, but that were very impactful and very important for me moving forward as a, as a business, you know, in this industry. Uh, you know, Peter Burr, who directed the pilot, he taught me a lot, you know, and um, he, he's the reason I don't watch uh, playback. You know, I don't watch after I do a scene on a, on a, on a film. When I do a scene, I don't look at the monitors because uh, he told me that. He said, don't, don't look at yourself. Don't. And I love that. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I just I trust the director and, and I just want to stay in the moment. So Peter Bird has taught me a lot. Obviously, Spike Lee has, uh, has given me an encyclopedia worth of information as well as um, Christopher Nolan. So I've been very blessed to have these mentors, to have these people I get to work with. That's why I want to keep working with people like them, like them, because uh, I'm still learning. I'm a student of the game always. But it was that time in New York for me when I was in, in, you, know, do, uh, in you know, those classes in school, learning the craft and really getting rejected a lot on these auditions I would go on and, and um, whether it be tape or, or, or going into the uh, audition rooms and just getting told no, but keeping going because it became, you know, I was used to being told no in, in, uh, when I would do these workouts for the NFL trying to get back in, but there's something about adjusting my attitude of when I went into the, to these auditions. Instead of trying to get the job, it was more about making sure I, I, I was the best I was that day. It didn't even become about getting the job. It, it, it became, did I nail it? Did I kill it that day? 
did I did I was I as truthful as I could be because of the preparation that I that I put in? If I if I felt that way, I don't care what the outcome is. You know what I mean? Because I know that I left an impression. I know that I did my best, and I know that I will continue to do that no matter what they say. So they didn't t- dictate my happiness. I can control that. You know, because there's so much you can't control in this business. It seems like every uh, actor I talk to has, a, um, as I call it, the one that got away, as in a role that they just were sure that they got, and then it's like they didn't get it, and they were very surprised, obviously, and and you know, and it kind of stayed with them. Do you have a a one that got away? Do I have a one that got away? I don't think so. Every every role that um, that uh, every time I've been told no, when you when you see the final final product. Sometimes you feel glad that you got the no. Um, and other times you're like, oh man. Uh, for me, when it was the movies I've seen that I got passed on, um, I couldn't see anybody else playing it. Like, oh no, that's, that's who was supposed to do it. You know, um, the, the, our community, the community of actors that, um, you know, we, there's, there's, we're living in a different time than, than my father. You know, there's, there's so many more opportunities for us. So this whole being the man and this is this one slot that's not true anymore. I think there's there's many slots. You know, there's there's um there's many different stories being told and um in our community and that's what's exciting about it. That um you know just being the man, you know, I I I think is a different it's, it should be looked at differently now. You know, there's so many different opportunities for so many young artists and different artists out there that look like us. That's exciting. I mean, thank God that uh, we have these options in these different streaming platforms and and uh, films and, you know, and projects that are coming out, so much content out there um, that uh, there's plenty to eat for everybody. Mm. Um, you know, I know no actor likes to be, you know, typecast or put into a box, but I would imagine, especially given your football background and some of the roles that you've already played, that people will now have a tendency to put you in the sort of action box. <laughs> um, <laughs> What do you think about the idea of, of, of you kind of living, you know, you don't have to only live in that box, but it, you know, but what do you think about this idea of people kind of characterizing you or positioning you as like, oh, this is the next big, great action star? Um, I mean, if the people just thinking about me, period, is a good thing. So, uh, <laughs> so that, that I'll, you, know, I, I, you know, thinking about me positively is a good thing. So if that's the case, you know, uh, Shalom in the home. Thank you very, very much. I, um, I, but as an artist, you know, like, like the film I just did during COVID, you know, it, it's fun. It's interesting with every film, you know, maybe they start thinking, Oh, actually see, I can see him in this lane throughout this career. Wait a minute. He did this too. I can see him in this lane. So the point is that I can, you know, hopefully I can, I can fill many different lanes. That's, that's the whole point of this that, uh, that you know, that I can be more than one thing, you know, that I, I have the ability to, to shoot, pass, dribble, set picks, you know, get the rebound, play defense. I can, I can do it all. That's, that, that's, that's the goal here. You know, that's why you can keep evolving. That's why you can never just say, oh, I figured it out now. I mean, I can't because there's so much I want to do. There's so many characters I want to explore. And, uh, and these, there's some directors, some great directors out there that can ask, you know, to ask you to be outside your box, or outside your comfort zone. That's what I embrace. That's what I want to do. And with the two films that I've, I've done, that are, that are um, the last two that I've done, those were asks of me to I get out of my comfort zone. So um, uh, that excites me. That's what keeps me going.